what comes to mind when you think of Castlevania Arcade? I know for me, Haunted Castle comes to mind. The dude that gets married, his missus gets kidnapped by Dracula, and he goes on a mission to get her back. And after Belmont's woman gets kidnapped by Dracula, he vows not to go toilet again and is severely conservated as he goes to rescue uh, his bride. Well, what if I told you there was a better arcade game? Yeah, because this <laughs> Haunted Castle is not a good arcade game, but there is a great one out there. Allow me to introduce Castlevania the Arcade. Now, guys, if you want to get this game running for yourself, stick around to the end of the video where I will have a step-by-step -step tutorial. Literally, it's a tu tutorial made for guys that don't know their way around the PC and don't know anything. I will walk you through it step-by-step. -step. But having a look at this game, this is Castlevania the Arcade, uh, also known in Japan as Akumajo Dracula the Arcade. It was announced uh, in July 2008 and the game was released in October 2009. There was a European release uh, announced as well, but I think it only appeared for location testing around 2008. Now, there aren't many of these arcades around the world. This is a very, very rare arcade. And a friend of the channel's video game game esoterica along with members of his discord actually dumped this game i was very excited when i saw that they had managed to dump it and saw the video of it but they didn't have the controls working and i was waiting for the controls to well to begin to work and to my surprise yesterday the controls began working and i had to try it out guys big shout out to video game esoterica if you're not subscribed to his channel guys subscribe to his channel uh, i'll leave a link to his discord as well so if you follow my tutorial uh, you should have everything up and running but remember there's still issues with this at the moment for example there are no sound effects which should be coming soon uh, there's also some patches being made to give it more compatibility with systems including better compatibility on Windows 10. The reason there aren't any sound effects is because uh, this game kind of uses things that were, were in Windows XP, but they got broken in newer ver versions of Windows the way Microsoft do. Now have a look at here. We've gone through some of the normal guys and now we're taking on death. Uh, and it's good because unlike in Symphony of the Night, you don't get robbed by death at the beginning. Yes, does he cause you a problem? Definitely. So the attacks in here, you've got your whip. The arcade machine had like a Wemo, like a PlayStation Move type of controller, which was a whip. It had a button on it for a sub weapon. Now, if you notice the skeletons, you see a ring around them. Once there's a ring around them, it means they're within rip, uh, whipping range. If there's no ring around them, it means you can fire away at them with your sub weapon. Now, I don't know if there's more sub weapons. I have seen uh, two sub weapons, which I've seen the daggers, and later on, we'll have a look at the other one, which is holy water um, now you've got two characters when you start this game but there is a third secret character and again i'll show you how to activate activate the third hidden character from the beginning in the tutorial that is at the end of the video but have a look at how epic this is i mean i'm a fan of light gun games and the community have done such a great job uh, of actually getting this up and running so we're using uh, a mouse to play this here I am on the second stage, guys, and uh, I think I've picked up Holy Water. Yes, I have picked up Holy Water, so that looks really nice. Look at that kind of blue fire effect. Guys, this game is so much fun. I was just, like, I had the feeling of disappointment for not knowing about this game. Uh, when, I, when I found it on Video Game Esoterica's channel and, and they, the guys managed to dump it, I was like, wow, I've never heard of this. I certainly never saw this in the arcade. So at the same time, I was disappointed that I never heard of this. I was... Um, I was amazingly overjoyed because wow I just got a new or to me this is a new Castlevania game in the year 2023 and it looks and it plays really really well again stick around have for the end for a tutorial you've got candles in here man now because it's a kind of on rails thing and it's moving around you have to be quick to get the candles and the power ups there's also like little kind of barrels around and we know the general rule in video games when you see a barrel you kind of shoot that barrel but guys definitely definitely check it out for yourselves uh, like i said the tutorial will be at the end of this video if you want to check it out for yourself if you're very very competent with pcs just check out video game esoterica's video uh he he kind of goes over it a little bit i've just gone over it uh with a little bit more depth but i was able to use his tutorial to um to find out how to get this game to run and that's how i did 
get it to run but guys awesome stuff like i love this game now over here we've got a bone dragon which is a boss here which i, I never really remember it being a boss maybe in the earlier ones but in this in in this game he's called the white dragon um but yeah guys that's really it i just wanted to show a little bit of this game maybe i'll do a live stream of it and kind of play for it for a bit of fun but i really wanted to get the tutorial out because i wanted to show you a little bit of the game but more so i want you guys to enjoy this game video game esoteric and his discord community have actually preserved this they've um, they've made it available for you guys to play and i've i just want to put something together that makes it easy for absolutely anyone no matter how bad your knowledge is with pcs uh, i'm really hoping you can follow my tutorial and then just get through and uh, actually get this up and running for yourself so guys if uh, if you've got it up and running and you just wanted to see the video then this is where you guys should maybe end the video but if you want to get it working then watch the tutorial Guys, if you're still here on this part of the video, it means you want to get Castlevania the Arcade working and you want to try it out for yourself and rightfully so you should. It is excellent and it is a lot of fun. I played it earlier on the mouse or like you saw earlier in the video on the mouse and I did have a bit of fun playing it. Right, so head over to archive.org. I'm not going to make it super easy for you by putting a link in the description. But once you're over at archive.org, go over to the search box and type in Lance Charlson. Then press go and it's going to bring you up a couple of hits this is what we want castlevania the arcade extracted dot and then space seven zip that will take us to the game now there's a few ways of getting this i went the torrent way because the whole uh, the whole files or the amount of files that you need is close to 10 gig and archive.org uh, downloads very very slowly uh, fair enough if you've got a day or two then you can go and just download these uh, individually yourself now i went down the torrent route it's up to you the route that you go down so these are all the files that you've got here now one thing that's not in the torrent and we're going to download that and i'll mention that later is just download this one individually so this is um demu shooter version well 10.11.0 but it says new use this one so if you've got two there one that's like that and one that says new use this one let's use the one that says new use this one and let's just download that it's only like 10 megabytes so it's not going to take long via archive.org um it's up to you how you want to download the files if you want to download them through archive.org you can see it's going to take quite some time you've got 3.8 gig image 7.8 megabytes 7.5 megabytes and you've got 6.6 .6 gig uh, file here as well if you have torrent software i'm not going to go into how torrents work and and how to set those up there's probably different tutorials for that if you don't know about it already um it might be worth looking into but that's definitely the quickest way of getting it um going the torrent route i got this game down in 10 minutes now when you go to download this you're going to get a little warning saying yeah you know it's not it can be dangerous it's not dangerous i downloaded it i scanned it and i used it but i always recommend do your own due diligence guys okay let's say you now have downloaded all the files you need from archive.org i went down the torrent route and this is what i got when i when i went down the torrent route if i open this folder you can see all the files that were listed on archive.org are here now so there's a couple of things we need to do first so let's go ahead and extract a couple of things so this one here castlevania the arcade extracted let's just go on that use your favorite extractor to extract it i'm i always use seven zip it always works for me but let's just go ahead and extract those files okay now that that is extracted we've got that up here let's just get rid of this for the sake of good housekeeping let's just let's just delete that we we don't need it anymore and the other thing we want to uh unzip is so all these files these ones here we're going to leave as they are so feel free to pause the tutorial uh and uh, you know go at your own pace I, i'm trying to make this literally as for dummies uh, as much as possible so if you don't know anything about pcs and you're dying to play the castlevania game hopefully this will help so the next thing we want to do is let's extract this so right click again seven zip extract files and once that's extracted as well we are going to uh, delete the zipped version of it because we don't we don't need that we're just going to keep it tidy i'm going to keep the game in here but you can move these files anywhere you like wherever you want to wherever you want to store them for example if you've got a c and a d drive and d is where you're keeping your stuff make a folder on the d drive call it castlevania game whatever you want to call it and put it on there so let's have a look for the for the, for the sake of this video now uh i've made a uh, i've made a folder on my desktop and i've just called it castlevania rk 2009 and i'm just gonna copy all these in here okay awesome so this is where i'm going to install my game so let's uh, let's just open this up 
and what we're going to do is remember that file we downloaded at the beginning that said um download this one or the new one we're going to add all the files from that into here okay so those files were here in my in my normal downloads folder not the torrents downloads folder but again it's i guess it's down to you where your downloads are going so wherever you downloaded the uh, the demo shooter uh which says new use this one uh just what you want to do is highlight everything in here like that and just copy it and paste it uh, paste it across over here uh, hopefully you're following all this correctly if you need to pause it go behind or do anything i'm just trying to make this i'm actually doing this real time i've already installed the game but what i'm trying to do replace everything replace all the files in this destination because this is supposed to have some better compatibility where at that sometimes when you're going between levels it crashes uh it doesn't it doesn't crash hopefully with this so there are some things or there are some issues still pending with this release but it is a work in progress release you can play it but there's still some work to be done For the next part i've actually got two of the same windows open so the the folder i made where i'm installing the game i've just made it one for simplicity on my desktop called cvrk 2009 so the next step we want to take is let's go into the demo shooter version uh, 1011 uh, the one that we updated the files in just a just a minute ago uh, so what we want, once we're in that folder go into this folder here that's called extra files for castlevania and then you're going to find castlevania inputs um, let's just extract that okay let's extract these files and here we go okay so what what i'm going to do is i'm going to copy this but i'm going to copy it into the root and and there's just a reason that i'm doing that and I'll, I'll explain that after it's just um yeah we'll go through that after and then the next thing we want to do is is have a look at this data zip and do the same thing extract this so seven zip it extract files and uh, what we're going to do with this one after is we're going to navigate over to uh, some some different files and we're going to place the extracted folder the extracted data folder that you're seeing here um let's see let's hopefully i remember it correctly let's get into castlevania and then we go into sorry let, let's go from the beginning so the, the beginning of where you're installing your games castlevania the arcade extracted double click on that go to hdd repacked then the next one you want to go to is hcv then hcv app and then once you're there you want to copy the extracted folder there so what we're going to do not the zipped version the unzipped version let's copy this and let's paste this over here okay replace file in this destination let's replace file in this destination here we go so now we've uh, we've moved this in here we um yeah we, we're almost ready to go let's do a couple of other bits let's uh let's change something in the settings file now so we can get the additional character and there's a couple of bits that we need to do in order to get the game working okay so ne next up have a look at this file called settings um settings.csv which is the same folder that we got to the hcv hcv underscore app now this is down as an excel file but it looks a, i'd rather open it with notepad and that's what i'm going to do so let's open that with notepad and let's just bring this up here okay so there's a few things we want to change in here first thing we want to change is emulate io just change that over from false to true all in capitals i don't know if it's case sensitive but i'll go with the flow and what i see here so again let's change that to true okay so now that we've done that now there's another bit down here where it's got something about hidden character here you go use secret character can you see it down here yep okay so let's replace that with true again and it just means instead of having the, the two characters that you have at the beginning of the game will have a third additional character we'll have access to all the characters and this is how the game will run with the settings we've changed changed up here to emulate io and emulate sensor so let's go ahead and save that and honestly we're almost ready to go there's just something i'm going to recommend now which i think just makes it easier so let's just kind of go to the roots of the folder now so let's just go back to here we go so now in what you need to do you need to launch this first the demo shooter uh version you know wh whichever one it is in here sorry i'm going to stop saying the, the the version number and then extra files for castlevania we're going to go in here and let's go castlevania inputs here we go so what i recommend is remember this is the root of our folder where we've got it 
what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold down the right mouse button. Now, I'm sorry, some of, you, some of you guys might know how to create a shortcut, but there's people out there that don't know. So this is more for their benefit. So hold down the right mouse button and then just drag it, even though yeah, you're dragging it into uh, this folder here. Just go create shortcut shortcut here. And what I what I had done with this, I renamed my shortcut. Click first. OK, because we need to run this first before we run the game and then we want the game executable which we're going to find which is going to be over here hopefully i can find it again <laughs> okay where is it where is it it's in hcv hcv app and here we go there's there's a thing here called hcv.exe now do the same thing again right click just drag it across uh, I'm using Windows 10, but it should be similar on Windows 11 as well. I haven't, haven't upgraded to Windows 11 yet, but here we go. Create shortcut here. But anyhow, you want to create a shortcut here. Create a shortcut here. You know, create a shortcut how you want to do it. Uh, I'm sorry if this this uh, this tutorial seems a bit amateur. I just want to make sure I kind of get everything done. And I really hope it is going well. And I've just done this. Click this second. Yeah. Or actually, one other thing I want to point out, actually. Let's go, let's go back. Let's just go back into the settings file oops here we go <laughs> see what happens when you open it with excel so let's just let me just right click that and open with uh notepad okay there's um there's a resolution thing in here where is it where is it okay over here so i'm using a 1080p screen so if i have this on i get like a windowed screen a smaller screen so what i've done was i changed that to 1920 by 1080 okay so that gives me that's okay for my 1080p display now you might have a you, you might have a different display if you've got your resolution put in your monitor resolution you might have a 4k one or 2k one i don't I have a 1080p one and that's what i tried when i tried it on the default one i got a smaller window and part you know my whole monitor wasn't uh, filled up so just to get around that i've put in the correct resolution the width 1920 the height 1080 and let's just save that sorry i didn't do that originally but like i said i'm trying to do this one on the fly i'm trying to make it so you guys uh, can see what i'm doing as i'm doing it and it's working right okay let's see if everything things work now we're just going to go into it so click first here we go so now it's what is waiting for the hcw exe which is this one over here which we said uh click second so hopefully this works otherwise it's going to be very very embarrassing okay it's looking good so far um now in order to start start the game one is what you need to press for one play the game should be on free play from the word go and if i've done everything correctly let me just put the volume down because i think it's going to be too high so okay that's really weird i have to keep tapping the button okay takes a little while to load ah here we go we are in we are in we are in okay so that's working guys that's working let's just get into game just to make sure everything is dandy dandy as candy and here you go so that's the two characters you remember we selected show hidden character that's the third character there that we've got so we, we we can start with any one of the characters and honestly guys try this game out it's it's awesome i hope this tutorial has worked for you let's just get into game to make sure we are actually into game and it doesn't crash out i just want to see it running and this tutorial that you saw i done this i i i downloaded a new version of the game i done everything there and i've tried that version so this isn't a game this isn't a version of the game that i made earlier that i'm running and that's how i like doing my tutorials because often i do stuff and i forget exactly how i've done it so i know if i'm doing it real time and then i test it at the end it's working uh, so this should be working uh, for you guys like hopefully it is if you've got any questions fire away at the bottom but i'm telling you now i'm not going to remember most of this because when, when i'm in front of my pc i'm doing stuff when i'm out and about and i'm answering uh, youtube comments on my mobile i'm not going to remember most of it if you need to go back um back in this tutorial if you need to pause it if there's any stuff that you need to do then go and do that stuff uh and have a look but it definitely works i've just tried it and here we go controls are working i'm controlling it with a mouse absolutely dandy guys super duper a big shout out to my friend video game esoterica and his discord and everyone for making this possible you guys are awesome man like i'm a big castlevania fan i absolutely love it uh don't forget in the description i'll leave a link to video game esoterica's cha uh, channel if you're not subscribed to his channel subscribe to his channel he does some awesome stuff and it's only because of him i actually knew this game existed how can i call myself a castlevania fan i didn't even know this game was out uh he does a lot of awesome stuff guys um and yeah there'll be a link to his 
his Discord as well. If you want to join it, if you want any help, any additional help, any any kind of troubleshooting, you can fire away there. I only joined the Discord today uh, because I wanted access to Castlevania, and they're a friendly and a helpful bunch in there. But guys, that's it. I hope you are enjoying the Castlevania game now. Um, yeah, if you're not subscribed to the channel, then a subscription, a like is super appreciated. I'll see you guys around in the next video. This is Pixel Cherry Ninja out.